Hello guys, good day, my name is Aurora and you're back here again in my channel, Shivester Aurora or Nurse Aurora in English and today I'm going to talk to you about nursing in the Netherlands so the types of nursing and the levels of nurses or functions here in the Netherlands so to those who do not know me yet um, my name is Aurora and I'm a registered nurse from the Philippines or registered nurse in the Philippines a registered nurse in Germany a registered nurse in the USA and now currently under super supervision work um, for my registered nurse license licensure here in the Netherlands so um, if you're interested about nursing in Europe I hope you can uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for uh, my future videos yeah so uh, first I'm going to talk about the types of nurses or the levels or functions um, here in the Netherlands and in com uh, for comparison I mean um, I will use the types of nurses uh, or leveling uh, in the United States so if you're familiar with it then I'm gonna do the comparison to the Dutch ones okay so the first um, one is the zorg assistant or also called helpende it's um, the same as or with the same responsibilities as a certified nursing assistant in the US so um, this is um, a lower level of nursing uh, basically um, you're a nursing assistant and then um, you couldn't give medications uh, for this level but I've heard or I've uh, read some information that there are certain level or courses that you, that one can take uh, to be able to do that further like you know more responsibilities and um, the second one is the Verzorgende IG it's equivalent to the US uh, licensed practical nurse or licensed uh, vocational nurse you know they vary from state to state so uh, this is um, another um, level like a higher than the Zorg assistant and um, basically it's uh, the same as the with the same responsibilities as an LPN or LVN and the next one or the higher the highest one is the for plekundige or the registered nurse uh, level so um, this is the highest level of nursing or nurses but if you want to go further with specialization like for example working in the emergency room or the intensive care unit or other um, special areas uh, you really need to go further with your studies uh, compared to the US that once you're done with your registered uh, I mean once you're done with your bachelor's of science in nursing then you can choose whichever area you want um, I think but uh, you will have like a certain number of weeks or months to be able to be uh, for the training or orientation phase so but in the Netherlands you cannot directly work in the special areas unless you do further studies or master's degree so basically when you go in a in a special area you really need to study for a year or two it depends on your credentials that's the the basic um, types of nurses here the three levels and um, about the degree how, how how can you get this like here in the Netherlands and this is like a good information especially for us for foreign nurses to know where we're at um, I believe that most of us um, have the bachelor's of science in nursing but I know that is it's not the same as you come here but with the knowledge and skills they're the same but it's just the educational system it's different so about the types of nursing here in the Netherlands the degree um, here in the Netherlands they have like an, a, a different educational system um, you know comparing to where I came from so I come from the Philippines and I do have like the, the primary school the secondary school or high school and then I can go to college or university and um, it doesn't matter where I want to go and if I can go to a university and do an entrance exam if I pass then I have the freedom to choose what course that I want however here in the Netherlands when you're still a kid you're already being assessed um, if you didn't do good uh, during your primary then your secondary then you will be decided if you can go to the higher professional level or the secondary vocational level so this is what you call M MBO 
and habeo so basically it's like mbo spe like spelled and then the other one is the hbo like the channel so mbo is like the middle uh, level applied like vocational course so it's not a university level but uh, you cannot go um further like i mean like for example um there's like the mbo nursing and there's also the hbo or habio nursing and the mbo nursing basically they're the same when i ask my colleagues but um, when it comes to your uh, diploma or your degree um, it's a secondary vocational course uh, nursing and the habio is a higher professional um, course university course which is equivalent to what we have or what others have, the Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. At first, I was really kind of confused because I only knew about Bachelor's of Science in Nursing and then you go for Master's or you go for, you know, a doctorate level and then whatever specialization you want if you want to go abroad or move to another um, country. So um, here, uh, there are MBO nurses and there's also the HABIO nurses. So if you want to have a bachelor's degree, like diploma in nursing, then you have to finish first the MBO and then study again for a year or two perhaps to get the HABIO for the normal like um, Dutch nurses. But for foreign nurses like us, uh, the assessment varies. So if you have like a bachelor's degree, it depends on the country perhaps, um, but as long as it's outside the European Union or the European um, something, EEA, I'm not sure, okay, but uh, only I know about the EU, the European Union, then you won't get an automatic uh, registered nurse licensure or your diploma won't be the same or something. They still have to assess it. So if you're a foreign nurse with a foreign diploma, like me from the Philippines, and, a, and some friends that I've met uh, during my exam, uh, they came from um, Australia, they came from the States, some are from United Kingdom, they really have to do the exams again. And if you have a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, it's they will give you like a two-year HBO level, and the normal um, years they have here is HBO four so it's like four years and um for foreign nurses if you have like a master's degree that will be added on your bachelor's or maybe you also have like a phd then i think they will give you or yeah i know someone that it will be equivalent uh to the habio here however even if it's the same they will not give you the the direct or the automatic uh licensure uh, licensure I mean you still need to do the exams and there are two sets of exams but I will discuss in another video so if you're a foreign nurse when you arrive here um, it's either you will get the two-year HBO level two-year bachelor's level even if you did it in four years or you will have like the same four-year level HBO if you have a master's degree or more so yeah and um, yeah so basically that's it uh, if ever you have like a bachelor's degree you can really work uh, as a start as a help help in it or a Zorg assistant or nursing assistant here or for Zorgen die IG or the licensed practical nurse as long as you have the license or the certificate that they will give you from the board of nursing here and for more about the Board of Nursing or Registration, I will discuss in another video. I hope you have learned something about uh, this video today. And if you have any questions about nursing in the Netherlands, you can always um, have a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer your queries. All right. Have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.